Hi guys, Squirrel here. I'm down at the Scania dealer. A very special moment. I shall show you in a second. Let's go round to... Here. The Scania Streamline. Oh yeah. Look at that chrome. Look at that chrome. Not content with Volvo having a new truck on the scene. Scania have hit back with the Scania Streamline. This truck dates back to 1991 in Scania's lineage, shall we say. Well known among Scania fans. I'm going to basically play with the configuration. We're going to take a look at it. It is actually... The, it's a refinement, basically. It's an aerodynamic, fuel-efficient refinement of the Scania series. And the Streamline's available in G and R series. Of course, we're only going to see the R series in Eurotruck, but... You'll, you'll see in a minute when I start configuring this thing, it's, it can be a really sexy truck. So let's go through the options, standard here. Now, this is where it gets interesting. <clears throat> so basically, with the Scania Streamline, you've got the Euro 6 trucks, Euro 6 engines. And the Euro 6 engines are about 5% more efficient than the Euro 5 engines. And what Scania have done is they've obviously they've brought the uh, more efficient Euro 6 engines in. They've made um, a lower resistance gearbox and also they've made aerodynamic adjustments to the truck and combined that gives you around eight percent eight percent fuel more efficient than the previous models and when you're in the long haul industry eight percent on your fuel bill is quite a lot so i think they've probably listened to customers and they've done the right thing but in terms of euro truck what that means for us is we've got some sexy little models going on here now watch this grill when you flick between the different models, you get this silver grill, and notice it'll say the usual Scania R490 down here, and just on the side there, can you see that? Can you make that out? I can't zoom in anymore. You get a little logo that says Euro 6 on it. I'm going to go down to here for the Euro 6 V8 520 brake. You can go all the way up to 730 up here, but I'm going to stick down here at the 520 range. I think that's a good compromise between having enough power to pull some of the bigger loads that I take um, and not being crazy up in the high end. And it's, more, it's going to be more fuel efficient down at the 520 bracket. So I'm going to take the engine for the job, shall we say, which I think is the right thing to do. But look at the black with the chrome trim. I think that looks so sexy. Let's go through some other stuff. We're going to stick with the Opti Cruise. That's no change there. This, this is where it gets good. Now watch this, guys. Here's your standard interior. Here's your exclusive interior. But wait for it. The exclusive V8. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Hand-stitched steering wheel. Leather trim. Sex on a stick. If this was trucking pornography, this would be a triple X. That is beautiful. And can you see the V8 bit down here as well? This bit's all stitched leather. Fantastic. This would be a pleasure to drive. So that is possibly one of the nicest interiors I think I've seen of any truck in Euro Truck. Um, and also you get the sat nav here, which is nice. And I believe, now where is, there it is. There's the um, milkshake cup holder right there. For you to put your Yazoo banana milkshake or strawberry, if you like strawberry. Um, and the usual plethora of stuff. I'm guessing you can have a TV fitted up here if you wanted to. So that's the interior. Looks lovely. We'll go to paint in a second. Let's let's configure the exterior first. Now, as you just saw, um, you've got your normal, you've got your high line, and you've got your top line. Now, top line is what I'm going to use because I tend to, to haul the bigger trucks. Although, technically speaking, you wouldn't need a top line if you're just hauling bloody... Uh, you know, diggers and stuff. This is more for your box um, configuration. But I'm, I like the style of it anyway, so I'm just going to take that. Um, now, let's go to the outside. Let's whack on the 4x2. Now, look at this. If I zoom in here, and we go for the V8, you get this nice sort of chrome bit there, and it says V8 in chrome, which is lovely. Love little things like that. So now you get Euro 6 down there, V8 on the side, and that is a very nice 4x2 configuration. But we shall make it better. So, given the fact that we've got chrome here, I think it seems fair that we go with chrome on the mirrors and chrome door handles. 
I think. And what I like is some of the configurations you've got here. Now, you've got the stock one, which gives you nice little lights in here. And you've got the Ranger, which again gives you chrome and gives you lights. And that seems to go with the mirrors quite nicely. Quite a nice look. But for some reason, I don't know what it is, but I just prefer the tidiness of that. It doesn't give you quite as good um, sun visoring, but I still think it looks pretty good. And then you can go for the stock mirror. You don't need the extra long mirror, which is good. On the front here, I am not going to sully the front of that beautiful front end with any of these bull bars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick something down here. Now, you've got momentum, which is an interesting one. Obviously gives you a chrome uh, registration plate down there. But I kind of like uh, the Sting. The Sting is still one of my favourites. You can go for something like the Mirage and get the flat look, but there's just something... I think it's to do with the shape, this U-shape here, that gives you an inverted U-shape down there. That something about the Sting that I that just works for me. Uh, your mileage may vary. You may, you may choose something else. That's your prerogative. Oh, we need to... Um, Put something shiny on here as well. Maybe the Nexus, I think. That'll look nice. So let's put some lights down here. Um, nothing too extravagant, I don't think. Now, looking at the light array, we've got primarily rectangular lights, so I think I'll stick with that theme. However, they're all white, so I'm going to go with rectangular um, light chrome 4s across the bottom there. Just to give it a nice glow when the lights come on cool we'll do the wheels in a second um, up on top I'm not gonna bother with that that's gonna really spoil the look and I was thinking about what's the best configuration here because because I do a lot of oversized loads I need beacons on top and it's very hard to get a look up here that doesn't isn't spoiled by little beacons that make your uh, truck look like a Dalek uh, but I think what I'm gonna do is not that because that's a bit heavy something like that I'm gonna keep it simple Put beacons on either end. Unfortunately, they always make your truck look like little... Like it's just like a Dalek. Have you ever seen the Doctor Who Daleks? <laughs> it's inevitable, but it doesn't seem right to just have one in the middle. Um, because, you know, if, you want to be, if you're on this side of the truck, you need to be able to see the beacons. So, that's my theory. Now, up on the top here, I'm going to go with the rectangular lights. The only question is, do we go for three or do we go for five? I think we're going to need the full array. Got to, got to get the aesthetics right, guys. Got to get the aesthetics right. Cool. Now, the only thing to mention is the wheels. The wheels are, of course, standard, but I'm running a tyres mod, which is linked in the video description. And this gives you an extra assortment of, of um, I would say, you know, keeping with the whole trucking theme. They're not crazy alloys like some of the tr some of the wheel packs have used. But I do think that the Absolute Fury Chrome, which is this one down here, looks the business on this truck as you can see you've got the chrome reflection going on the black center absolutely delicious i think that is not a stock tire that is a, a tire mod which is in the video description very simple to install and uh, you'll get a few more tires that you can use or wheels i should say that you can use on um, all of your trucks so check that out that is it uh we've done all the accessories i think we are done apart from painting, but I'm going to go and paint it outside. So let's confirm this. Let's trade that bad boy in. And let's have a look. Oh, it's raining! <laughs> it's raining all over my new truck. How dare it! We want a nice sunny day when you buy a new truck. You don't want to pick up a truck in this kind of weather, do you? However, that will give us a chance to have a look at the outside lights. So let's have a quick look at that. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it, eh? Let's put the um, headlights on. There we go. Let's bring up the roof auxiliaries as well. So that's what it would look like at night. And I think that looks... W I would be really, really happy to drive a truck like that. You've got the orange down the side. I think... The side panel there could have done with a couple of orange lights, not one, but other than that, that's a, that's a lovely truck. Now, let's take it over here. Let's get the wipers on. Let's get this thing sprayed up, shall we? Oh, this drives like a charm. 
An absolute gorgeous refinement to the Scania series, I think. Okay, so what choices do we get in the paint shop? Well, I noticed that you get this. You get a special streamline skin pack that seems to come with the truck. Uh, and you can change the color of it, which is nice. But you keep the, if you notice, you keep the streamline tag, the logo all over it. So that's not a nice color, isn't it? Um, I actually think black with the black radiator and the chrome. I mean, black and chrome. You can't go wrong with this, can you? I don't think. So I'm going to stick with that. But you can just, obviously, go for any color you want. You could go for a, like a darker blue down here. Which looks good. Or if you're a green kind of guy, you could bring in the greens. You could even bring in yellow if you wanted to. Kind of odd, dirty green color. Oh, that's bright. But I'm going to go with black. Black looks good. So let's take it out onto the road. Maybe we'll come back when it's not raining so hard, eh? So here we are, I'm on the road, I've picked up a load of uh, packed food, I believe it is. The DHL Logistics. And I'm going to take this across the country, but... You're probably wondering when you can expect to get your hands on this lovely, sexy Scania Streamline. I think I'm going to have to give way to these people. Don't have junctions like this in the UK. I'm in Sweden, by the way. As some of you may have guessed. <laughs> I thought I'd go back to the Scania homeland to pick up my truck. From the Scania main dealer. Um, so yeah, this... This is a... Um, a 1.8 release. Oh, thanks, dude. Need to get some air horns. I forgot to put some air horns on the roof, guys. Can't be doing with that standard horn. Um... 1.8 is when this comes out. Now, 1.8 was scheduled to contain the new physics and AI, the vastly improved AI. But it requires more testing. It's not quite ready yet. So, this has been brought forward. Signed off by Scania. And it should be with you. If you're watching this video, it should be with you this week. I believe the 1.8 release is out this week. There is the Scania Homeland. The Scania factory, where these things are made. Sexiest Scania yet, I think. This is a beautiful interior. Uh, a beautiful exterior. So watch out for that. That's pretty much all you're going to get in the 1.8 release, unfortunately. Things didn't go to plan. But still, if you're a Scania fan, I think this is a good release for you. That's all for me, my first look of the Scania Streamline. Look out for 1.8. Other than that, I shall see you on the road. Take care, guys. Happy trucking.